orifice is an opening on the wall of a container that allows liquid to flow through and being discharged. An orifice may be fitted with a mouthpiece. It is a short tube with length typically less than 2 to 3 times its diameter. An orifice is typically circular or rectangular in shape. Considering a sharp edge orifice, liquid in the container is discharged as free jet. At the part where the flow direction is perpendicular to the plane of orifice, the cross-sectional area of free jet is the smallest. This part is also known as vena contracta. The velocity of free jet discharge from orifice is dependent of the liquid depth in container and coefficient of velocity CV. This coefficient is a ratio of actual to theoretical jet velocity at vena contracta. By knowing the cross-sectional area of orifice and vena contracta is also different, we can establish coefficient of contraction CC to represent the ratio of the area of vena contracta to orifice. Now, let's define the actual flow at vena contracta. Then, let coefficient of discharge CD be the ratio of actual to theoretical discharge of jet. We may substitute both coefficients of velocity and contraction and simplify the correlation. Eventually, we know CD is the product of CV and CC. There are several ways to determine the coefficients of an orifice experimentally. Coefficient of velocity may be determined using jet distance measurement method. By measuring the time taken for jet to travel a certain distance, we can easily calculate the actual flow velocity. We then divide the result with theoretical velocity to determine CV. To determine the coefficient of contraction, we need to measure the cross-sectional area of vena contracta. This can be achieved by using micrometer contraction gauge. Another way to determine CC is by dividing CD with CV after knowing both of these coefficients. As for coefficient of discharge, we can first measure the volume of discharged liquid collected, then divide it with the time taken to obtain the actual discharge. Then, we take the ratio of this actual discharge to theoretical discharge to obtain CD. At the end of this video, we will be presenting the formulation to calculate the flow through several orifice cases. The first case is where a large orifice is fit to the container. The shapes of orifice in this case are rectangular and circular. Then, we look into the situation where the orifice is either fully or partially submerged in downstream liquid. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with your friends. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.